Yo, what is up, Sex Beast Crazy Rabbit here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the Chain Trap in Shadows of Evil on round 50, so let's go ahead and get the shit started. So the Chain Trap in Shadows of Evil has a couple different locations. You can find it, I think, in each of the districts, and you can actually find it in the, uh, Subway Pack-A-Punch area. I don't really know what that's called. I can't remember what it's called. A little ritual place. Yes, thingies. Words. And once the chain trap's activated, chains just start shooting across, and this thing on early rounds is very, very effective because literally no zombies get through it. But once you get up to, like, round upper 30s to 40s, that's when the chain trap's gonna start to let zombies come in. Now, I don't know if it's because the zombie's health is just so high that some are actually able to get through, or if it's just because you bring an entire train 24 through that some of the zombies might not get hit. But up until, like, the 30s and 40s, I was actually able to kill anything that went through it. But right around that point, that's when about half the zombies are going to be able to get through. It'll kill about a good 12 zombies, and then the rest are actually going to be able to get through. Now, of course, Margwals are actually going to be able to go straight through it. They're just going to teleport right around it. So this thing is basically useless against Margwals. But hey, at least the Margwal doesn't, like, turn it off or anything like Brutus would. But the Chain Trap can be very helpful. What I was doing when I was going to round 50 is I would just turn the Chain Trap on and then cycle in this room. And when I was cycling in this room, the trap would actually kill any zombies that try to come in this room through that area. So it was very, very helpful when I was going to far rounds, but if you want to take out like an entire train of 24, this might not be the method of actually killing them. You might want to search for a different method, but I would definitely use it if you're going for far rounds. Just activate it and let all the zombies that are coming through that way actually die. So it sort of keeps a little bit of pressure off you and gives you a little bit of breathing room sometimes. And it can be very helpful if you just want to kill those last couple zombies. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys could, please give a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.